Okay, y'all, we're out here with a grocery haul. Over here is all stuff for parties and holidays, but I just wanted to start getting things because we're getting pretty close. And then this is more of my normal grocery haul. I'm gonna try and make this vlog a little bit longer, so I'm gonna just tell you about all the things. So I am making taco dip, so I do have chips, red onion, lettuce, sour cream and cream cheese for that. I'm making Muddy Buddies for the first time, so I got those. I wasn't sure which to get. Powdered sugar, the one that I found called for pretzels, and also Hannah couldn't find pretzels for stuff that she was making, so I picked her up some. Chocolate chips, creamy peanut butter, because we only ever have crunchy. And then I got stuff to make red velvet cake cookie things. So I got white chocolate chips and red velvet cake. I picked up some stuff to have for Christmas. I don't know if I'm doing stovetop, but I wanted to pick it up just to have it. I got crescent rolls for the these things that I saw on Instagram that basically are like jelly filled crescent rolls. And I'm also gonna do a pizza one. That was Hannah's idea. So I got stuff for the pizza one. And then I got this cheesecake for the other one. I'm not sure how that one's gonna go. I got some mini pops for Lila's party. Biscuits for breakfast with the Krasinski's on Christmas. The Oreos are also for the Muddy Buddy recipe I found. I just always need butter. Bacon for the brunch. Marshmallows for the sweet potatoes. And then this is kind of the normal grocery order we didn't need a lot but I was figuring like I wanted to make some things so I was like let's get the other things we need we're out of eggs I got these Christmas trees for the boys because I think they'll think they are so funny a whole bag of onions because this is my life milk chocolate milk bananas the boys love these as a quick breakfast I saw kid cuisines and I have not seen these in forever so I just got one of each for the boys Hannah's coming over next Friday for movies and we are going to do pierogies and sour cream with onions of course hey guys just took a shower I don't always look this wet but I'm about to make some cookies. I saw these on the Instagram. So I have everything all laid out, plus a toaster strudel, and we're gonna bake them. Y'all, I literally never bake, so like maybe this will be good. I need to get a paddle for this. Apparently I have a paddle. I have low standards, so it'll be edible, but it says I need to put it in the fridge, which is kind of annoying, but you know, gotta follow the rules. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, shock, I have a better idea. I'm gonna read my book. Then Nick and I are probably gonna play some Monopoly deal. One, two, I won. Mm, look at you. Holding these, screwing mm. you over for that. I was hoping you would have gave me one of these and I would have won earlier. You're a turd. But I'm proud of you. Look at that, I won two again. Times in a row. This is like a real, I've never seen a game this big before. Usually it's like a quick annihilation. <laughs> From me? Yeah. Nick's pulling out the shuffler because he keeps losing. So what excuse will you use when you still lose? The shuffler's broken. Tuesday I unpacked and washed all the clothes. Figured really quickly while I'm procrastinating going to work because of this traffic, I'd show you what's in my work bag. This is the Print Prussian. It is like a faux croc bag and it's coming out in January. So obsessed with it, but I'm gonna just show you what I have. First of all, for driving, I need my glasses. Not for like seeing, but I have this weird thing. It's maybe my stigmatism. I'm not sure. If you like do eye doctor things, let me know. Whenever I drive, I feel like my eyes get tired unless I'm wearing glasses. I also have my chai, my phone, which I get so many questions about my case and my pop socket. My pop socket is, I'm pretty sure, by pop socket. And then I have the MagSafe thing that I just switched the top on. And then this is from Casemate. But I think the, like, glitters they use are, like, the same but different colors. And I think it's the greatest combo ever. I have a return order that needs reship. My wallet, a mask, because I am coming down from the COVIDs. No one will be at work today, though. I have my notebook and my pen. This is the Aura Estelle Annie Plans undated thing. And I just write notes in it. My keys and then an extra battery for you guys. And that's literally everything. Currently listening to We Were Dreamers. I only have an hour left, so I'll probably finish this soon. I should have brought my AirPods. And I could go back in, but do I feel like it? No. So we're at SPC. I'm currently in the garage. I feel like nothing about SPC's office is like super glamorous. I feel like it's just purely functional. Its goal is one day to have everything kind of like put together and do some kind of like really cute 
tour, but right now it's just so functional. So I don't have anything in particular that I'm planning on doing today, but I just figured I'd come in and just do some like random things. One thing about coming to work that's fun is the samples and these won't have come out yet, but everything else like is not anything secret. So basically this here is so exciting. Um, this is all 29 of the new confetti foil bundles that are coming out. I wanted a sample of them so I can know if I want to order anything else in these colors and also what order I want them released in. So we have Lavender Hollow. There is a like chunkier um, sparkly hollow and a chunkier kind of like gold um, sparkly color. I have some samples here. Sample of Pillow Talk for next week's new releases. Sample of Starcrossed. I made these boxes for Lila's birthday since we had to move her birthday party, but I'll show you that in a plan with me. I needed more of the Manhanna sheet. These are for J. Crew plans, but I will have these coming to the shop soon. There's like couples and then friends. Hannah wanted some more book icons, so I whipped these up. So I'm thinking of bringing all of the doodles in other colorways. So this would be like a dark colorway, neutral, bright to y'all seen and then there's this like pinky one I don't know what I'd call this maybe like pretty or something like that but it has like pinks purples and reds the next set of labels for kit organization and then a bunch of customs for me some are just like full sheet customs and then this is how my customs look for my plan with me's decided today is a cleaning day so let's do it I'm so excited because I got Flower Child, which I rarely ever get. There's not one near me, but I got, they have this like olive oil gluten-free muffin that's so good. Then I got this. Also, how cute are my Crocs? Love them. Very holly jolly. This is like a steak bowl. I'm kind of sad because they had like a cauliflower risotto, but they changed it to a butternut squash risotto, I think. And then they have Brussels sprouts, but they used to have asparagus. I think they just change it out with what's seasonal. So I decided that today I was doing steak, Brussels sprouts, and mashed potatoes. I feel like I have accomplished something today. I feel very excited about how everything's going on. Realistically, I only probably, I was here for maybe like four hours. I'm leaving after I eat. I'm going to eat and then I'll probably head out. I hope Kirsten comes in and she feels like extreme home makeover because I feel like I just did such a good job. I probably won't come back and do this next week, but I'm thinking in January, I want to finish the rest of this area and then move on to like their area and organize. But I feel like I, like, I feel like it looks really good. So maybe after all said and done, I'll give y'all a tour. I'm currently working on little gift kind of bags for the kids for their like class parties. Little paper bags from Amazon. I have a bunch of different ones there in a pack. And then I have some leftover Christmas labels from years past. I have some candy canes. And then I just wanted to put something in it that was like kind of useful versus just a bunch of candy. I am doing a Play-Doh and then a Christmas like cookie cutter. I thought that'd be kind of cute. I was gonna buy like Christmas colors, but like last minute I couldn't well buy red or green. So I'm gonna do that. Outfit of the day. I showed these skirts on my Black Friday haul and I'm literally obsessed. I have been up since 5, 4.30. I have my chai and I'm ready to rock. Lila is in her festive attire and she's drinking out of a cup now. 
Yep, I made those cups last night and I had extra supplies besides the candy. So I decided I'm gonna make them for all of my neighbors. So I just got these cheap like 78 cent bags at Walmart, some candy canes, and then I just needed extra candy. And then I figure whatever's left, if there is any left, I could take to work or put in stockings. I got these because Hannah, not those, not these. These, I actually meant to just get one of these and then two of these, but. We can have these at Lila's party. She's been raving about these, so I wanted to try them. I got these because Bennett likes mint ice cream. Basically anything green he loves. Nick picked this out, even though he was yelling at me because I picked these out. He's like, the freezer's full. Well, it's never full when it comes to some fun ice cream. And Cosmic Brownies always remind me of Kirsten. It's our shared love. Gold Peak Tea for Nick. This is for Lila. She's never had these, so we figured we'd let her try those. And we got her 12-month food, which is just like to get extra fruits and veggies in. And then this cup has been so good. I feel like we've tried all of the Munchkin cups. She has the pink one, um, and we got her the blue one at Walmart. And this, no matter how hard she throws it, it doesn't leak. The other ones, like, they always leak, so. And this one's straw, also really cool. It, like, opens to clean, which is neat. Got some of my favorite like juice and the kids like these too and I figured for the party um, to have those on hand and then also I ordered these in a Target pickup order but they didn't have them and they're red holiday trees but I think this pack just didn't get as much dye as the rest of them the rest of them around them were red but these are pink and I was like that works so making chocolate dip which I probably should make today I got this for little miss la I thought that was so cute she's chit-chatting in the background and then I got myself two sweaters I thought these were so cute to wear with like a pair of like high-waisted biker shorts and like a bralette or something and I got them in like kind of like oversized if I remember I will put like an overlay of what they look like on but these are so cute this one also came in a green and I think this one came in like a brown pink combo but I like these ones and then I also got this dress I feel like Walmart's just like up in their game and I thought this would be cute. I don't know if I'm gonna wear it for Christmas or what, but I thought it works. I also did an outfit change. I was just feeling like I needed something. Holly Jolly on. I can't believe next weekend is Christmas. So I'm gonna show you guys how I changed my wax. I found this at Daiso and it's literally perfect. Whenever you fill it up, you could just turn it over and the wax just slips right out. You take the top you dump it. All of mine are Christmas scents right now, so I don't feel like I need to like fully get everything off. And then I just wipe the rim. That's what's on the cotton swab. The last time I warmed this, I couldn't smell it. And that's all. So I think in my office, I'm gonna warm this. I've been hoarding it. It is a K's Custom and it's so good. It is strawberry white cake, zucchini bread, and succulent strawberry from K's. It's a custom. So this morning I actually filmed my new release video for next week. So I am going to write all these down in my checklist for listings and then put all of these away and then I'll probably start planning. If you don't follow me on stickers, none of this is gonna make any sense, but basically I have my stack of new releases and now I'm gonna decide like, do I wanna put any of this in my lineup? So basically my February lineup is looking very full, but I know for certain that I wanna use this kit, Star Crossed, for my anniversary week. So I need the ultimate kit, the doodle sheet, the anniversary boxes, and then I go between fam three and then the blonde one, cause obviously, but technically this side of my head that the hair is showing the most of is blonde, so. It actually would be cute though, to do some sticker surgery on this situation. So the rest of my kits were pretty set. I did have this slotted for the last week of February. This is not technically Valentine's. So I might use this for my half anniversary in August and instead use Pillow Talk. I really love these colors. So again, I need the ultimate kit, doodles. This one has a label too, fashion. And I love these fashion people on these fashion boxes. But honestly, with the amount of boxes that there are, I think I'm just going to use fashion options from the sheet. So this is gonna go back in my kit hoard. It's been there a while, but I I think, like I said, I'm gonna use it for my half anniversary. Foil wise, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm gonna use with this, but it hasn't released yet, so. I also put these in the pocket of my kit lineup binder. These are going to go in the wizard category of my character stickers. Kirsten always gives me two of every foil bundle, but I think I'm going to bring home extra of these ones that release because they're such universal colors and confetti goes with everything. I'm gonna put these away in their respective areas. And then sadly, this one won't make the lineup this year, but I think I'm going to do a 
block spread. I've been really liking doing those. So for that, I will need ultimate kit, doodles, and then I think I'm gonna use kid three. Again, I'll do a mock spread and I have foil coming out that I'm going to use with it and it's gonna look so, so good. The limited edition color will go into my limited edition binder in color order. Since I haven't been doing talk their plan with me, as I usually put like a YouTube video on or music, I get out all my stickers. I pull out my character stickers as well as my scripts. Like I just pull them forward. And then I didn't pull out any doodles to match. We can see if we can find anything quickly. I think this is gonna be my best match. I'm not sure what color this was. I think I'm gonna pull from these doodles and then obviously I'll still pull from these character stickers as well. I'm hungry. I'm gonna make a taco dip. This is literally all you need. Oh, just kidding. For all my onions. We are going to combine these sour cream, cream cheese, and taco seasoning together for the base. And then I'm going to top it with iceberg lettuce, cheese, onion, and you can do green peppers, olives, tomatoes. I think they're all gross. So this is what we're sticking to. That's the dip. Then I just have this 9x13 baking pan that has like a lid. Pour this on in. And then I'm just gonna make an individual portion for myself with lettuce, cheese, chalua. And then I'm just gonna cut up the whole onion just so I have it for tomorrow. I'm gonna use these chips because I did get the Christmas tree ones for tomorrow. So I'm just gonna take these into my office with a mini Coke. Yum. Currently working on editing this vlog and y'all, almost two hours of footage. And that's for three days. I got some mail. Literally the most boring mail haul to exist, but if you didn't know, I'm obsessed with skims. I got this dress. This is like the classic one that like is all the rage, but I got the short version because I have the long version and I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I'm obsessed with it. Then these are the underwear. They look boring, but the way that they're cut, it's just so good. So I figured I'd let y'all know, but I've gotten so many people on skims in my like actual real life that won't buy underwear elsewhere, but I just think their stuff is so good, such good quality, and the cuts are just phenomenal. Tonight we have my in-laws over for the first time in like a month, basically, because we didn't see them when we were on the cruise, and then when we came back, I had COVID, and now it's been 13 days, and everyone is testing negative, so they came over and we got Rudy's for dinner because I had a hankering for Rudy's. Now I think I'm going to take a bath. I've been meaning to start my book for the past three days, and I keep getting sidetracked, and I was like, Nick, what are you doing tonight? Because we've been watching Wednesday, playing Monopoly, deal and he said he's working on reformatting a server or something I don't know let's do this big daddy So this took about an hour. That means I have an hour to finish the arch, decorate everything, and get dressed and get my makeup on. So, wish me luck. so much fun today. Lila had an amazing first birthday. We got to hang out with local friends and family and celebrate not only Lila but also Nick and Kirsten's birthday. So I didn't get too much footage but I hope y'all enjoyed a little peek into the party. It's 6 30 and I'm about to head to work. It's 30 degrees out. So super fun story. I bought extra batteries for this camera, but I forgot to bring one with me and it is dying. So we're gonna switch over to iPhone footage and you'll see the difference and hopefully you don't mind. This is a reminder to later Andrea, put a battery in your purse, an extra, extra battery. Should we do a mail haul? A frame, more mop pads, got more air fresheners, more dot stickers, 
batteries for the detector that's beeping. It's so weird because I don't know where it's coming from. I think it might be the attic, but also I didn't know there was one in the attic and we've been here for like five years. So impressive that the batteries haven't run out. But hopefully Nick can figure it out. So I do have quite a bit to do today. So let the montage commence. You. Me and Theo went to the grocery store. This is what a grocery haul sounds like when kids are home. I'm just gonna show you quickly. I got Ziploc bags, celery, beef, meats and cheeses, bacon, chicken, fruits, carrots, croissants, and bread. End the vlog we had a good night we we're at the trail of lights with the boys i am gonna take a shower because i smell like fire basically but i hope you like this vlog and i'll see you next week <laughs>